And we are ready to go just about. Millions of viewers from all around the world are tuning in for the Super Cup decider. My name is Derek Ray here on the commentary position. I'm joined by Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're inching ever closer to kickoff time. It is Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Well, the Super Cup final reward for the two teams that win the major trophies in Europe, the Europa League and the Champions League. The match off tonight. I'm really looking forward to this one, Derek. Super Cup was a Dutch journalist by the name of Anton Witkamp. He thought it was perfectly logical that the winners of the European Cup and the Cup Winners Cup should face each other in the early 70s. And now it's the winners of the Champions League and the Europa League League. Yeah, I was lucky enough to play in that game against AC Milan. It was probably one of the biggest good hidings I've ever had in my life. They were one of the best sides I've ever played against. So not very good memories for me, the Super Cup. Ah, well. In the battle for the UEFA Super Cup, they're underway now. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea starts in goal. Juan Mata starts with Anthony Martial in the wide positions. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Aspili Quetta starts with Marcos Alonso in the fullback positions. Aidan Azar starts with Pedro in the wide positions. And they line up tonight with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. It's with McTominay. Juan Massa. Given away by Manchester United. Chelsea happy to pass the ball around and get it forward. Crossing possibilities. Pedro in the middle of things. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Well, now it's with Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Now, well, let's see. Does he mean business? Aidan Azar. And here now is Conte. Staunch rear guard action. Here now is Loftus Cheek. And now here's Aiden Azar. Jorginho. David Luis. Rashford unable to hold it. Now, what could he do here? Conte. Jesse Lingard. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Chelsea finding forward gears. Can they take advantage of this promising position? Lindelof. Given away by Manchester United. And here now is Conte. This corner bear fruit for them.
Azar's corner and the no nonsense clearance. Massa. Lingard. He might be able to profit from the wide position. It's with David Luiz. Aspili Quetta now. Conte now. And playing it through the defence. He might be able to make it through. Well, it didn't have to be a 10 out of 10 from the keeper, but high marks anyway. Seven and a half, I'm going to give him for that one. Seven and a half, well done. He's given it away. It's with McTominay. Marcus Rashford. Manchester United getting higher and higher up the pitch. What can they... Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. This is Loftus-Cheek. Well, great read there to intercept. And he's made headway. Does he have the beating of the goalkeeper? The opening goal, but on the balance of play, who would have expected this? Well, how have they done that? They don't deserve it, but they'll take it. Well, here it is. You have to say they've come under an awful lot of pressure today. But it's a sucker punch. They've gone up the other end and got a well-taken goal. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. So they're playing again. It's Manchester United with the lead here. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. This is Loftus-Cheek. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. And spectacular goalkeeping is what you're after. David De Gea is your man. Oh, he can stretch. Look at him. He stretches for that brilliant save. over by Azar here clattered away well half time but sometimes you wish your first half could go on and on that was very watchable Lee well it was we're working here Derek but it was almost a pleasure to watch it as a spectator absolutely brilliant football throughout really entertaining game incident passion the lot bring it on for the second half And the second half in this UEFA Super Cup tussle is underway here. Here's Pedro. Conte. My oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. And now this is Lingard. Marcus Rashford. And Lingard. On the ball, Aspili Quetta. Here's Pedro. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. They've given it away. The ball with David Luiz. An awful lot of green space to run into. Now he must favour the cross. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Anthony Martial. Martial. Rashford. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And options in the centre. And clears his lines. 
He just keeps going. No let up. And now this is Lingard. And Martial. And with the goalkeeper. And slipped through beautifully. Azar doing the manoeuvring here. Back from the byline. Let's see what he has in store for them. Well, the man for the dramatic diving stops, Davy De Gea. Well, they practice agility in training. There's no one more agile than De Gea. Azar's corner. Oh, they've done it! A goal for Chelsea, who got themselves on level terms. Well, you will concede less goals if you stop the crosses. On this occasion, they don't, and they pay the ultimate penalty. The ball's in the back of the net. Stop the cross. And the goal that was scored, well worth another look, Lee. Even Steven won a piece on this match. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Martial. Scott McTominay. Lingard. Lukaku. Now, what can he do here? Jesse Lingard slipping it through. Corner given to United. And over comes the corner. And the no-nonsense clearance. McTominay. Is he going to punish them here? The object of the exercise is to keep them out. Corner awarded to Manchester United. And a deep ball in. And he's clear his lines. Moving through the gears. And Lingard. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no. There's another chance, and there it is, back of the net. It looks like the winner. Well, here's the replay. Sometimes keepers use those posts as the part of their defence, but not on that occasion. In off the woodwork. A chance to revisit the goal. Having conceded then, it's up to Chelsea to articulate a response. It's with David Luiz. Jorginho. William. I must say, no shortage of space. Left for play. Martial. That's 
be the quesa now. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Here's Christensen. Jorginho. Azar. Barkley. The first European trophy of the season then. And they are delighted to have won it. Joy for the fans who have travelled here. Disappointment, of course, for the losers. You never want to go down in the battle for the UEFA Super Cup. And now the trophy presentation league. Well, it's not the Champions League, that's for sure. But a trophy is a trophy. And if you're in it, you might as well win it. And these players will enjoy this moment picking up that trophy and hopefully there's bigger things to come in the future. It used to be contested over two legs until 1998. Since then, a one-off occasion. And here we are. The big celebration. The Super Cup is lifted. All that pre-season work out of the way. I'll enjoy these moments. And it's back to work as soon as the proper stuff starts. Really is the ideal way to get into gear for the season ahead. another hoist and rightly so great names on that trophy well yeah my mum always said get in front of the photos and there he is my mum educated you very well Lee so the Super Cup victors